Jacob Falkovich. I have a question about this intriguing link between sleepwalking and the obesity epidemic. Because looking out over the crowd here, it really strikes me how fit people are here at MIT. And I'm wondering, <laughs> is this because my students here as a professor at MIT simply sleep too much because I don't give them enough homework? I think it definitely is. First of all, we do have a wonderfully looking crowd. And people at universities, you've noticed it, they spend all their time studying. They barely have time to go to the gym. They eat mostly pizza and bagels. And they're still, still such in great shape. So I'm sure you see them sleepwalking into your lectures, Professor Tegmar. That's the explanation. <laughs> That explains a lot. Do you have any tips to maximize one, one's um, sleepwalking workouts? <laughs> a, a hamster wheel in the bedroom, perhaps? Well, I think really the smell of a running antelope is what originally triggered sleepwalking. So I would recommend strategically placing antelopes around your residence. about what this means for minimum wage laws, that we're going to have to revisit the idea of overtime if now everybody is out there doing physical work while they're sleeping. Well, I think to fight minimum wage laws, humans have evolved not to remember sleepwalking episodes. And you don't have to pay people for what they can't remember and sue you for. <laughs> Jacob Falkovich, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>